Today I'm going to look at Expressive Sketchbooks by Helen Wells, Developing Creative Skills, Courage and Confidence. Now you may know Helen from her YouTube channel. I love watching her videos. They're so informative and inspirational and her sketchbooks are wonderful. So a sketchbook is a place to experiment without fear of failure. And by keeping an expressive sketchbook, you can really give your imagination free range and find your own artistic style. You can explore ideas, shapes, patterns, colours and media. You can make notes and you can even learn to overcome the barriers that can prevent you creating art. Now, Helen is going to help you with all of these things in her book. So I'm going to have a look inside. First of all, I do like this cover. I like the image and it feels sort of velvety, but very nice. So the paper has a matte finish. It was published in 2020 and we've got 144 pages. So here we have the contents, introduction, magic and motivation, getting going, techniques for exploring and experimenting, growing your ideas and practice and progress. So Helen starts off with talking about what is an expressive sketchbook and how to incorporate art into your life. I love these images here. The black and whites are fantastic and the colors are fabulous. We move on to magic and motivation, reasons to start a sketchbook, how it's your safe place and you can look back in months and years to come and see how you've progressed. These lovely, lovely pictures here. Helen mentions there it's the process, not the outcome. And then she's got a lovely section on overcoming obstacles. This is something I've spoken about in some of my videos. It's very helpful to have this all down in writing. She tackles, I can't draw. I don't like what I've produced. I don't know what to do, where to start. Obstacles are part of being creative. So there we go. It's all part of being creative. So here we have getting going. Types of sketchbook and the materials and supplies. We then move on to colour, the colour wheel, how to use colour and the joy of drawing. It starts off with a mark making exercise and then we move on to being more experimental and exploring and different ways of actually exercises here to practice your drawing developing your drawings revel in visual variety light and dark big and small delicate and bold busy and quiet getting rid of the white page now this is something people struggle with so much and Helen suggests you use some leftover paint or just put some random lines or squiggles um, anything on the page just to take away that fear and give you something to a base to start with. We've got quite a bit on collage here. And then we move on to techniques for exploring and experimenting. So Helen talks about inspiration, looking for inspiration outside. I really like this. Some lovely photographs. Collecting interesting things to draw. There's some basic art information on these pages here. And then we move on to seeking inspiration inside. Now, inspiration is all around you. Sometimes you overlook things. It could be something just like this picture here of the zips all in a muddle. You just have to have a look around. Now, I love mixed media, so this is a great section for me. I'll just flick through these pages. Look at these colours again, so beautiful. Making your own tools. Collecting and making papers for collage. There's quite a few pages on that again. And then we get into growing your ideas. 
themes which you've probably heard me say I love to work on themes I get really fixated on one item or a color and I just keep drawing the same thing over and over again and apparently that is a good thing to do so I'm happy about that expanding an idea and combining ideas researching and, and investigating and here's a fun one collecting and treasuring and then we have a little bit about writing, about keeping notes, practice and progress. I love this picture as well here. Lack of inspiration, assessing work, embracing your mistakes, self-evaluation and getting perspective. Let's turn this one. Self-sabotage, self-kindness. self-confidence and developing a practice and then we've got the end now very interestingly we don't have an index but we do have two blank pages so you could use those pages for notes it's not necessarily a bad thing that we don't have an index because the book is very easy to use and you can always use some page markers if you want so altogether, this is a really lovely book. It's not a how to draw and paint instructional book, but a guide to using and improving your skills. Anyone can start an expressive sketchbook. You're going to learn through the pages. You're going to learn what you love, what you don't love, and you're going to progress through your sketchbooks. Now, this book is really easy to read and follow. It has lots of examples of Helen's work and it's perfect for anyone who needs inspiration and motivation and help building courage and confidence.